Next up on day one of the Dubai Sevens, New Zealand taking on Scotland. There will be action. The Scots causing, uh, well, I said earlier on when they beat Samoa, 21 points to 14 and a very solid performance. New Zealand first up beat Japan 36 points to nil and the Kiwis leading 28 nil in the 8 SBC series. Over the years, Greg Clark with you. Alongside me is Scott Hastings and the New Zealand. Oh, there's plenty of big names there on that starting seven. Forbes, the captain. Mickelson started the day in very good form with uh, three tries. And uh, for Scotland, White is the captain, number 10. And it's a very experienced team. The average age is about 26 years. So uh, can they pull off their first ever victory against New Zealand? Good anticipation for this game as uh, DJ Forbes on the left leads out the uh, New Zealand team. Scott White, former Melrose player, now with uh, originally also with the Glasgow Warriors, actually captained a, a Glasgow Warriors team that included Carl and Isles back in April to a famous Melrose Sevens win where the game was in invented. So the Kiwis, this one final moment together. And Scotland on the left. I have to ask you, uh, are you in favour of the Scotland colours? Um, I actually won. I actually won this tournament playing uh, in pink and blue for a team called the Huggy Bee Thistles away back in 1988. So you started the trend. A referee from South Africa is Ben Kraus. And it is in New Zealand defending World Series champions. Silver medal at the Commonwealth Games and that scrappy play from Scotland earlier on and the quick throw in now from New Zealand. Trying to catch him napping and they go across to midfield to Stowers who throws it over to Ambrose Curtis and he's got a great fend. He's got some speed as well and that is a fantastic try and early five-pointer for the Kiwis. So New Zealand... Didn't take long to get into full gear. Well, Ambrose Curtis absolutely rips the Scotland defence apart, but it was the quick thinking on the near side that put Curtis away on that far side. Scotland went down by 14 points to nil before they strung three tries together and got back to 21-14 over Samoa. But this New Zealand team, well, they're laced full of class. Conversion not successful. So Ambrose Curtis has his second try on day one at Dubai and New Zealand have the early lead, five points to nil. So Kaka will get things underway again. And Scotland need to control this better than they did from the original kickoff. God's mark goes to ground. Good counter-rucking from New Zealand. Good timing there at the penalty. No, in fact, he was a little too enthusiastic on that occasion with the clean-out Sam Dixon. God's mark. It's a low. Stringing some passes together, but not really getting over the gain line but now an opportunity out wide there's a high tackle coming in from Stowers it was reckless and using plenty of whiff now with Scotland this is uh, God's mark couldn't link up with the man on the inside but he'll lay it back so good opportunity for them here good field position it's trapped in there no scrum half Low frees himself up and White puts it on the left foot for the chasers. And it sits up for whom? For New Zealand. So Kaka has it. Forbes. Nowhere to go. Mickelson. Now he straightens. Takes it into contact. The tackle made by Johnston. Stowers. Nowhere to go. 
That's what you like about New Zealand. They don't panic. They're very patient. Now Mickelson sets his man on the outside away, and it's a brilliant bit of footwork from Gillies Kaka. 40th try in his World Series career. It was just a brilliant little shimmy, if you like. And he races away, puts it down between the sticks. And that is 10 points to do, kick to come. Well, now Godsmark is a recently contracted player for the set seven squad. But look at this individual brilliance. The little hitch kick from Kaka. But the overlap was created in the first instance because it was James Eddy who was pulled out of position, which allowed Kaka the space to go down the outside, show his footwork and skills, and he left now Godsmark for dead. Conversion successful from right in front, New Zealand 12, and Scott Nadil. So as you mentioned, Scott, uh, they were down 14-0 earlier on. Scotland were able to come back and win that one. So can they do it again against the might of New Zealand? Remember, Scotland looking for their first ever win against the Kiwis. This time New Zealand go long, and they allow it to bounce. Picked up by Gregor. And New Zealand go in and hold him up. And that's clever work. Full body position by Scotland. And so New Zealand will get the put in. Well, Greg, as you said, the, the Scots allowed the ball to bounce and misjudging that one. Kaka. Very handy position for New Zealand. Puts it in, takes it out, shows it left and goes right. Still going. And now he leaks up with Ambrose Curtis and he has got a double. Clever play from Kaka. He was allowed just to run across, draw in the defenders and in the end it was Curtis who was unmarked. Yeah, Kaka, he ran an angle, didn't he? James Johnson there had to nail his man, his tackle, because that sucked in the Scotland defence, Lee Jones. And Curtis Ambrose gets the double. Ambrose Curtis, my apologies. Kaka from out wide, looking for the extra two. It's a good attempt, but in the end, out to the left. So, 17 points to nil. Yeah, you, this uh, young man won the award as the best newcomer last season. And he's really stepped up to the plate. And he's got his starting spot as well. More uh, last season, Greg, he was, uh, we saw him come off the bench on so many occasions and make impact. But, well, Sir Gordon Titchens has uh, got his trust in this young man. Yes, Ambrose Curtis now 22 tries in his 10th event. It's 10 events all up for 22 tries. And Scotland through Eddie. On the 22. Just haven't been able to play the game in the opposition territory. Again, New Zealand are going to get the put into the scrum. You know, New Zealand were so sharp onto that turnover there. They really, really drove well. Forced the error on the Scotland players once again. Half-time siren sounds. Scotland desperate to hold New Zealand out. As Kaka now gives it to Mickelson. Hasn't really been in the game. And now here is the flying Ambrose Curtis on the left wing this time. So he has got a hat-trick in the first half. Wow, 22 points to nil, kick to come. Well, Ambro Curtis, four tries across the weekend on day one already. Little switch play, but it's the understanding of this New Zealand team to create the space. Gavin Lowe just couldn't get anywhere near. Ambrose Curtis on that occasion. So with the conversion being successful, it's a very handy scoreline indeed for 
New Zealand who are looking to bounce back after a disappointing first up effort at the Gold Coast in October. So far so good in this one. 24 to nil over Scotland. New Zealand on fire. Hello. Callum awesome. McCray, Scotland coach. There's some work to do. Callum McRae needs more from his men in the second seven minutes. Yeah, Scotland haven't quite delivered in the manner, and that's because when you play against New Zealand, they put you under so much pressure. When you don't have the ball, you've got to chase them, and they've got individual game breakers. And well, we've seen one in Ambrose Curtis three tries in that opening seven minutes. experience there Curry goes to ground for New Zealand and there's a good turnover so Scotland Johnson can't find a way through and a good steal there from New Zealand Johnson didn't have any teammates around him Gaka well that's poor defence by Scotland he was entitled to be tackled, got the fend going, and he is in now for his second try of the match. Brilliant turnover by Sam Dixon on the uh, close right. James Johnson got isolated, but Kaka, the little hitch kick, and Colin Gregor failing in the defensive chores once again. Missed a tackle against Samoa, and it cost his team seven points, and well, Kaka's opened him up again and converted the... Uh, the try as well. 31 points to nil. And of course, Greg, when you're under the microscope, we, you know, we are critical of players. But, and, you know, the tackle was there, as you said, to be made. Missed the tackle. And it's the teams who secure the tackle and stop teams turning over that scoreboard, win competitions. And this New Zealand team, well, is this the response after the Gold Coast? Looking good as Riddell goes to ground and the penalty goes to New Zealand Mickelson in no hurry Kaka directing the traffic no to Marcy Thama over many many years we're used to seeing Thama controlling things but it's now down to Kaka to do that that uh, went backwards. And Forbes across to Sherwin Stowers, and he has some toe. Lays it back, pops out. Curry dive pass to Kaka and Mickelson. McCann's to the new man. This is Murphy Tanamai on debut at Dubai. Up to the 22, but. Penalty goes against the attacking team. Scotland. Oh, and that came off one of the New Zealanders, so it knocked back, and Kaka was there in the sweeper's role to clean up. So they'll start again, and getting through there is Curry. Back to Stowers. Floats one over the top. Padamai. And Ambrose Curtis, can he get four? 
He pops it up to the new man, Tanavai. And he has his first try. On the HSBC 7 circuit, the man from Wellington, 22 years of age. He trialled for Penrith in the NRL, the National Rugby League in Australia. And uh, obviously didn't take up the, the offer there, but uh, looks to be a fairly handy sevens player. Well, the backup was superb. Shrugs off the attention there of Damien Hoyland. And yet again, another one on this amazing conveyor belt of New Zealand rugby. Kaka from out wide. Can't add the extra, so 36 points to nil. And Scotland, who were so impressive earlier on, coming from 14 nil down to beat Samoa. And remember, Samoa were a finalist at the Gold Coast back in October. But they just haven't been able to get into the game. Clinical performance by New Zealand. Try scorer got his hands to it, but couldn't control it. Tatamai, so into touch it goes. Just two key areas for me, Greg, in this game that the passes completed. New Zealand 24 passes, but Scotland missing seven tackles. You're going down. Have you got one of those, Greg? <laughs> uh, no, I'll leave that to that gentleman. DJ Forbes look alike. Forbes will be shaving the beard later and. He will uh, be clean shaven for the second and final day. That's the tradition that he has. The captain, 68th event, DJ Forbes. He's been the New Zealand captain since 2006. Now regarded as one of the great Kiwi sports captains. 31 years of age. Another debutant coming on for New Zealand. Sam Vaka. Vaka just come out of shot there. He got a try in his earlier game against Japan. So the two new boys, Vaka and Panamai, both have tries on debut. And New Zealand, more possession for them inside Scotland territory. They beat Japan 36 0. Now they're 36 0 against Scotland. Baker and it was a simple dummy and they fell for it big time and Joe Webber he's got his first try of the tournament and they hit the 40s well, you 41 to nil you don't often see Joe Webber score a try where he's not having a hitch kick involved but this was just simple play here look at him switch play ball in two hands that teased the defence the show the goal the pace the skill and they all make it look so easy. He was able to add the extras as well. So 43 points to nil. And I certainly didn't see that scoreline coming, Scott. Well, as I said, I think New Zealand have come off the goal coast. They've obviously prepared extremely well. And when you come up against a team like New Zealand, their execution and skill level are out the top drawer. Lost forward by Forbes. After the Scots couldn't handle it. So we'll have a scrum. And Scotland will get one last opportunity to try and get on the score sheet. New Zealand defending champions from the Moscow Rugby World Cup Sevens. Commonwealth Games silver medalist defending HSBC Series champions 2013-2014 on a dozen or so of the last World Series and Scotland now flirting with the touchline Damien Hoyland into touch and that will be it full time so a comprehensive victory by New Zealand they look very sharp indeed never allowed their opponents to get into the game 43 points to nil New Zealand over Scotland great performance look at the crowd building up at Dubai
day one. Still a lot of action still to come. So look at the match facts here. Plenty of tackles completed by New Zealand. But look at that. Seven missed by Scotland. Passes completed. 26 by New Zealand. Only 19 by Scotland. And both teams gave the ball away. Half a dozen times or so. Eight visits to the opposition. 22 by New Zealand. And that was telling.